think outside the box don't just think of one or two things and when that doesn't work out then you just stop all of it think outside the box think how can i take it further hey everybody welcome back to my channel my name is shakia if you are new here and in today's video i will be sharing how to sell skincare products to your clients and like always this is just based on what i do and my experience and what has worked for me so far so i remember in school they're like retail is a big part of being an esthetician you need to sell um retail skincare products and all this and i was just thinking i'm not a pushy person like i probably won't be able to sell anybody's skincare products because it's like I'm not a pushy person like I'm not gonna beg somebody to do anything so I was like I guarantee like I won't be able to sell skincare products but I actually have been able to sell skincare products to people and it hasn't been in like a pushy way my thing is you can kind of feel out like people who are really serious about their skin and the people that just come in every other month for a facial and they complain about skin their skin issues but they really don't want to invest money into it at first i would go like off the vibe and try to recommend product or not and the people that didn't seem like they were serious about their skin I wouldn't say anything like oh I recommend this product but I've switched it up totally and I recommend product to everybody so these are in no particular order so one way to sell skincare product to your clients is during the facial consultation and I say during the facial consultation because when you're asking questions, they usually tell you like, oh, I'm looking for products, I want to be on a skincare routine, or that they don't really care, or they don't use anything. That all that's done during like the consultation most likely. So that's when you can be like, well, I see this and what you're explaining, what you're describing to me, I would recommend XYZ. Or to treat this, I would recommend this product. And if they're serious about taking care of their skin, they'll remember that you recommended a product to them. And at the end of their service, they're going to be like, oh, what was that product that you recommended again? Um, or they'll try to take a picture. They'll do everything to try to remember the product that you brought up the beginning of the facial treatment and then during your facials of course you can recommend product because during your facials you're applying the different products they might have a nice scent that they like it might feel good on their skin that they like and so you can recommend the product right then and they're like oh i used X xyz on i just used xyz me through my facial treatments i like to describe the product that i'm using i'm like oh i'm using this glycolic cleanser or i'm using this retinol scrub or for mask i'm like oh i'm using this hydrating mask on your face and yeah just describe what you're doing some people you might have people that don't want to be talked to during the facial treatment and you can tell off their vibe and I might not say anything, but I do slip up and I do say certain stuff like certain products. And yeah, just describe what you're doing. Let them know, oh, this product is good to enhance cell cellular turnover. Um, this product right here, it has natural tyrosinase inhibitors, all that kind of stuff. Another way to recommend skincare products during a facial treatment is having a reminder card next to you let me show you mine so this these are my reminder cards I've already showed them in previous videos I don't know if you'll be able to see but these are my reminder cards and I have I thought I had a whole video on this I don't know but yeah these are my reminder cards and while a client is masking for 10 to 15 minutes I know people like to do hand massages and stuff like that. 
I don't feel like I'm a good massager of hands. So what I do is I start writing down products that I recommend to the client and facial services that I recommend to a client or even the skincare products that I use during the facial that they express that they liked. So it's good to like keep notes. You should be keeping notes as a licensed esthetician anyway for yourself, but it's good to like write down notes for your clients. That way they can refer back to it when they're at home. Another way that I've been able to sell skincare products to clients is offering a complimentary skincare regimen. And I do this for clients. I don't do it for just anybody. Um, sometimes I do it for just anybody and I'll explain that in a little bit. But for clients, I'll give them a complimentary skincare routine. And when I send them that skincare routine, sometimes clients actually go to my website and purchase skincare products. So that is another way, like go out your way. If they seem like they are serious about taking care of their skin or they are interested in taking care of their skin, you can be like, oh, I can get you a um, skincare routine. I can give you a skincare routine and they're like, oh yes, that would be nice. And then they'll go and order those products. Sometimes people will come in here with certain skincare concerns and certain skin concerns. And I'm like, oh yeah, I would recommend this, this. And I'm like, it'll take me forever to write this right now. So I can just give you a skincare routine once I'm finished with all my clients. And uh, yeah give them a skincare routine they're like oh yeah that would be nice so do stuff like that so for the people that aren't my clients that's when i take advantage of sales so if a certain skincare line is having a good sale or sale period um what i'll do is i'll post on my facebook and this this like my personal facebook my personal instagram my business instagram my business facebook and i'm like oh glymed plus is having a sale they're one of the best skincare companies out there and i say i'll offer i'll offer a complimentary skincare routine of glymed plus skincare from now until the sale is over that's the kind of stuff that i do that's when i open it up to everybody getting a complimentary skincare routine because when you think about it if you're giving them a complimentary skincare routine then they'll go to that site and order skincare products and again that's money in your pocket and it's always great when companies offer drop shipping or companies have a website that you have a link for that you can give out to people because you don't have to carry that product on hand you don't have to worry about coming out of the for the cost of that product because somebody else is fulfilling that order for you so that's what i like about the skincare lines that i carry they offer drop shipping or there's a link that i can give clients for them to order straight from and you earn money that way. Another way to sell skincare products to your clients are by offering virtual skincare consultations. And the virtual skincare consultations are perfect for the people that want to come see you but they might not live in your area or maybe they're really busy and their schedules don't match up with yours or whatever the case may be. They can't physically come in to see you so the better option is just to do a virtual skincare consultation. And then once you give them a skincare regimen based on everything that y'all talked about, they go shop for their product and there you just sold skincare. Another way to sell skincare products and to your clients, and this is for everybody else as well that follows you, is posting on your social media. So if you have a favorite skincare product that you're liking, products or products that you use then post it on your your social media accounts on your stories and talk about that skincare product like who it might benefit what it does and make sure that you are also given all the information on how that person can purchase that skincare product from you so on my social media i have 
a link in my bio and I have per click here well not click here but there's buttons for them to click to shop Glymed Plus and that's my Glymed Plus link I have a button for them to shop skin script and that's going to take them to my actual website to shop skin script products and then if I share something by image skincare then I'll say I'll send an email to my email address or they can shop in studio because I am slowly trying to bring image skincare in here to retail to clients email marketing that's the next one email marketing if you have a website and it comes with email marketing, like you can send out emails, take advantage of that. Build your uh, subscriber list for emails, your mailing list, that's what it's called. Build your email list because you can send out emails every month on whatever you want to talk about. Like, I think now for my social media, I'm not giving out skincare tips. I know it's a thing for estheticians to like give skincare tips make all those skincare charts and everything I don't feel like I want to do that it seems to me for me it seems stressful to have to come up with all that stuff all the time and then another thing is like I would rather give that advice to my clients like the clients that come in to me like um yeah that's just me though like I'd rather um, focus on giving all that information to my clients so um, basically my Instagram any social media that's just a digital portfolio for me and for me to market myself I'm not on there to give out skincare tips to just everybody so um, my email list my glow list um, that I also promote on my social media channels. That's where I give skincare tips, product recommendations, I talk about my services, everything. Like, that's who I give all that information to is the glow list. And so today I just sent out an email about makeup removers, um, cleansers that are great to remove makeup, and I put any relevant information to any like sales on skincare products, uh, information about the giveaway that I'm doing. All that is in the email marketing and if somebody reads that email and they say, ooh, that product seems interesting, let me go check it out, let me buy it, then there, there's a sale right there. I will say that everybody that subscribes to my email list, they're not clients of mine. I have people that signed up for the glow list and they're not a client but they might be thinking of coming in to be a client of mine so I'm going to use those emails those three emails that come with my website every month to promote something when I feel like right now I'm just trying to think outside of the box that's what you need to do when you're trying to succeed is think outside the box don't just think of one or two things and when that doesn't work out then you just stop all of it think outside the box think how can I take it further so that's what I'm constantly thinking about I stress myself out all the time because I'm just trying to think outside the box like how can I do this how, how can I sell more skincare products that is all that I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video comment down below on what you would like to see from me next comment down below what you thought of this video do you have any tips to sell skincare that i didn't mention and yeah i'll see you in my next one